I'm Robbie Young, I'm the Hydraulics Division Manager at Harkin Yacht Equipment, and I'm here to talk a little bit about our brand new Integral Backstay Adjuster. Uh, integrals are used on boats from 30 feet to about 65 feet, all different sizes. There have been uh, quite a few uh, variations over the years. Uh, we have come into this part of the industry uh, a little later than most of our competitors since we're new into the hydraulic game. So we decided we'd start from scratch, design a product that is innovative and uh, basically has all the right features and none of the bad features. Uh, on our integral backstay, the pump works when you pull and when you push. All the other products on the market only work in a push mode but by working in a push-pull, one, it balances much more on the backstay when there's not much pressure, and secondly, and more importantly, it actually doubles the speed. Now, I know most, most people think, oh, it's for a cruising-type boat, speed doesn't matter. Well, it's not that speed matters, it's more of the efficiency if you, don't, you spend a lot less time playing around and swinging the handle in and out when you're on the back of the boat. We have a release valve that cannot be over-tightened by hand. So in other words, you turn it clockwise to tighten it, you turn it counterclockwise to loosen it, the amount that you turn the handle is how fast the cylinder will release. So on the, on the cylinder side of our integral backstay adjuster, there is no external plumbing. You don't see any external piping or plumbing fittings outside. We try to keep it clean and neat to the point of even putting a, a nice fairing over the top of the gauge so that nothing can get caught behind the gauge. Putting the gauge at the top is a little different from most of the units on the market today. We put the gauge up high so it's easier to read, so you don't have to bend over quite as far when the cylinder's on the back of the boat to see the gauge. The gauge is done with just five digits, one through five, representing thousands of pounds of pressure, so you can get a good reference very quickly when looking at the gauge. Now also mentioning the gauge, it's in line with the pump handle. One of the things that we decided was that uh, when these are installed on boats, a lot of times they have to be done in a way that the handle isn't always the same direction that you'd like to have the gauge. In order to twist the gauge, there's one set screw that gets released. After the set screw is released, the cylinder can be twisted relative to the pump 90 degrees one direction or up to 180 degrees the other way so that the gauge and the pump handle are not in line with each other for easy use on the back of the boat. The pump handle can be put into the rocker arm in three methods. One, it slides straight in. Uh, it comes in and out easy enough. That's for people who don't want the handle to live in the backstay. Secondly, there's an O-ring on the bottom of the handle for those people who want to put it in, leave it in for the day, take it out overnight or when they leave the boat. The third method is to put the handle in, a roll pin in the bottom of the rocker arm through the handle, which keeps it in permanently, and to take it out, you need a drift punch to remove it from the, uh, from the cylinder. Another feature that uh, our cylinders have that are a little different from the rest is that we have clevis pins that go in just with a one screw on one side, three mil Allen wrench, takes the screw out, the pin is captivated into the bottom of the cylinder so that only one tool is needed. While I'm at the pin, I'll talk about the fact that a toggle is highly recommended on all backstay adjusters uh, or standard cylinders that are installed on a boat. That allows two directions of articulation with the two different pins.